Back in Photoshop, and this time I'm going to show you how to use the primary and secondary masthead features in Backlight's Pangolin modules. So I've changed the banner graphic a little bit. Um, the title is now centered, it's larger, it's all caps, and this is going to be for the uh, desktop view of the site. Um, and so once again, I've prepared separated graphics. So I've disabled the logo and I've saved a background image for the, uh, the, the banner background. And then I've disabled the background image and I've made just uh, a set of title graphics. So again, I went up to image trim and I trimmed out the transparent pixels and I saved one at 100% for our high resolution displays. I saved one at 50% for regular standard resolution displays. So that's for the desktop view. I have also created a separate title graphic for the mobile view where I've stacked the two words on top of each other. And this is um, to better accommodate narrower screens. And so again, I've done the same thing where I've disabled the background. I've trimmed it to get just the, uh, the words like that, and I've saved one at 100% and one at 50%. So I've got one JPEG of my background layer, and I've got four separate PNG files of my title. That's two versions of the title, and for each version, two sizes. Um, so let's just restore this back and move over to backlight. So we're relatively where we left off in the previous video, um, except that now I've, I've already got my, my background layer in. Um, for the sake of, of having it all in one video though, let me disable that so that I can um, turn it back on. So I have my aspect ratio set three to one, which is up here. Um, again, we're in the masthead control group and I've scrolled down to the section titled Primary Masthead and set aspect ratio on 3 to 1, which matches the aspect ratio of my background. So I'm going to go ahead and reassign the background graphic by scrolling down to Add Background Image, turning that on, and selecting my masthead background. And then I set that to Cover So now I've got my text on my background, and if I wanted to use the text, that would be fine. I would just come up here, I could set alignment to center. Um, you know, I could make it bolder if I wanted to. I could even, if I wanted to, um, apply a background color and put it in a bit of a box like that. And then, you know, the background I can make semi-transparent. So you've got a lot of options here, things you can do to mess around, but we're getting a bit off on a tangent. So let me get back to the task at hand. So I'm going to apply um, my logo images. So I turn add logo image, I turn that on. I select the one times version of my masthead title for desktop. And then here I select a high res version, which is going to be the 2x version of that same graphic. And I change that. Um, oh, and now I want to get rid of that background. So if I just X that out, okay, so now I've got my title graphic on the background graphic. And that looks great. I'm really happy with that. And if I go to uh, mobile display size, you know, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Um, but I do want to use that version of the title that we stacked two words on top of each other. So the way that I do that is I come down past the, the graphics options and there's add secondary masthead and I turn this on. And this gives me a set of controls that is pretty much identical to the primary masthead set. Um, and if I save that change immediately, 
you'll see that I end up with um, a second masthead right here, and it's it's back on default. Oops, I accidentally navigated away from the page I was on. So let me turn the automatic refresh back on. Um, what I want to do is I want to set that up in pretty much the same way that I was set up previously. So with a secondary masthead, I'm going to scroll down, um, set the aspect ratio to 3 to 1, because I want to keep that. And I could use a different background image if I had one, but I'm going to go ahead and use the exact same background image. So there's a separate add background image control for the secondary masthead. I'm going to select masthead background and again set that to cover. And I'll update that change. So now you can see that I've got two of them, um, which, you know, obviously we don't want two to be displayed at the same time. We're going to get to that um, as maybe the last step in this process. So I'm going to add logo image. I'm going to select the um, title for mobile. And then the high res, I'm going to select the, the 2x version of my mobile title. And I forgot to center that. So let's find the alignment and put that in the center. OK, so now I have two mastheads. Um, each with a different version of my title graphic, which is exactly what I want. So the trick here is that we come back up to the top secondary masthead and we change the visibility setting um, from always to mobile. And then we go up to the primary and I'm going to set the visibility. Uh, where is it? The visibility to desktop. So save those changes. And so now I'm in the desktop view, I have my desktop masthead. And when I'm in the mobile view, it switches to the mobile masthead, which is um, a little too small. So what I can actually do is come back down into the secondary masthead. And let's update the aspect ratio, say, let's try it at two to one. That should make it a little bit taller. It did, it is taller. Um, I maybe want to make it taller still. So let's go, ooh, one to one would be square. That's probably too much. So let's try it at three by two. That's a lot nicer, a lot nicer, actually. I like that. And when we check it at different sizes, like that looks pretty good. So that's how you use the responsive uh, mastheads, the primary and secondary. The other way that you can use these is say, for example, I was um, using a two column layout. And let's go back down to masthead. We can do different things with our location. So maybe the primary masthead I want to be in the palette, not in the header. Um, let's go ahead and we're just going to, for simplicity's sake, grab those mobile versions, put those in there. And I want to change the aspect ratio. Let's make it square. All right, so, I mean, I don't think this looks great, but just for the sake of example, let's say that on desktop I have my, my masthead is in the sidebar and the main column is just for content. Well, when I go to the mobile view, actually, let me, to illustrate my point, I need to disable the secondary masthead. And I need to make the primary masthead always visible. All right, so again, desktop view is fine. I've got my content in the main content column. I've got my, my masthead in the sidebar. But when I go to mobile view, you don't see where you are anymore because there is no masthead. Why? Well, because it's in the sidebar. Obviously, um, kind of an undesirable situation. So what I would do in this case is the primary masthead, again, would only be visible on the desktop. 
And if I make that change, you can see that when I open up the sidebar, it is no longer there. So I want to turn on the secondary, put the visibility, um, again, it's going to be mobile, put it in the header. And so now when I'm on mobile, the masthead will be in the main content area, not in the sidebar. But when I'm in desktop, it'll be in the sidebar, not in the main content area. So that's two different ways you can use the, the primary and secondary mastheads. The first way, you just have two versions in the same location. And then in the second example, you've got uh, two versions of your, of your masthead in two separate locations to ensure that regardless whether the visitor is on a mobile phone or on a desktop browser, they always see your masthead when they land on your page. So that wraps things up. Thank you for watching.